hey, let me show this really great way to use operator. This has completely changed, I think, how you're going to use operator. I can't wait to show you this. What we're going to do is we're going to actually leverage ChatGPT to draft our prompts for operator. Let me show you how this works. We're going to use a use case from local government. That's what we talked about here in this channel, but it literally can be applied to literally anything, any use case you have, anything you're looking at, use ChatGPT to write the prompts for you. Let me show you how this is done. Okay, so let me walk you through how I did this and how I'm using ChatGPT to write my operator prompts for me. So first thing I did is I just had to explain to me how does ChatGPT operator work. Now for this, I used the web search function, this icon right here, and it went through and just basically told me how ChatGPT operator works. And then here's what I did next after it kind of knew what I was talking about and how operator worked. So for this prompt, what I did is I said, okay, Here's what I want to do. And I took an example from Joe Turner's RTR newsletter, the resignations, uh, terminations, retirements of city managers, very popular newsletter on LinkedIn. I'll post a link below that way you can see that. And I said, okay, it's a lot of manual work. And I think it'd be great for operator. So walk me through how you would prompt operator to produce something like this. And I copy and pasted the entire latest newsletter right into the prompt box. And what it did is it told me, all right, Here's how I would prompt it. You know, here's the objective, here's the prompt, here's the search instructions. And I think that's the part we often miss is we stop right around here when we're drafting our operator prompts, right? We don't actually give operator the search instructions and the task for the operator for it to be successful. So it's basically giving him an open-ended thing and having it go figure it out. But if you're tailoring the prompt and tailoring the instructions and the task to what operator needs to do, it completely changes the game. It is absolutely insane how incredible this is. But let me show you what this output looked like when I gave operator clear instructions, clear task, it completely changed the game. Okay, so here's the final output. Now operator gives the option to share the end result and that shares it as a downloadable video, basically taking the screenshots of what it did. You can share the video here. I'm gonna play this on two times speed, just that way the faster video here, not watching it for the full 17 minutes. And let me show you how ChatGPT operator worked in light of that prompt. So here it is, it's going through, look at the different sites, California, um, other city manager news sites, basically searching that, that Microsoft Bing for city managers news. And it's going through and finding all this different information, going through there, looking at it. Now, let me show you what this looks like on 1.2 speed, I'll pause it here or rather on one speed so you can see what it actually feels like. So it's going on there, clicking the button, looking at different articles, things like that. And it's putting all of this information together. Let me go ahead and I'll skip ahead to kind of the very end. That way you can see what that would look like. Okay, so here's kind of the final one it's putting together. It Basically the last couple of 10 minutes of the video is just it's stuck on what page because I left it up overnight. So I had it run overnight and got stuck in that page. It's a lot of videos that. But here you can see it's giving us the article, the city manager's news link there, or the city manager news roundup is putting those links in there. It's going in there. It's editing it as you go along. And so it's basically, it's drafting this for us. This is a video it's already created. Operators doing that. You can see the cursor, the operator next to it. It's going through and putting all the information in there, but it did all that work for me because I gave it clear instructions. Pretty crazy, right? So you can see when we put in detailed instructions, the results are much, much better. Let me show you one more example here of how we're able to craft a prompt for an operator using ChatGPT. So on this one, I said, okay, I want to go and find local government AI policies and governance. And what I wanted to do is tell me what's unique about each one so I can find the different elements that are unique, right? It's like, does that make sense? Because kind of rambling on there. So I wasn't quite sure if I crafted the right prompt. ChatGPT is like, yep, that makes sense. Here's the prompt for operator. Again, I'm taking this entire prompt here. And what I'm doing is I'm basically, I'm just copying this entire thing, this, this entire instructions right here. I'm copying this and then I'm going over to operator and I am pasting this entire thing into operator. And then I'm hitting enter and then it's going through and it's going through the exact steps that I want it to go through. And let me show you what this end result looks like. So again, here's the final video of what that process looked like. 
And this is on a, about normal speed. It's a one minute video. It's going through finding these different policies from Lebanon, New Hampshire, all these different areas. It's compiling this all together because I want to find out what's unique about each policy. What are the unique features? It's going to compile all that together. Now, one thing I did do, which might be interesting to you, is I explicitly told it to use Google search as opposed to Bing search in the previous example. First, I just find Google to be a better search engine than Bing. It's my own personal experience. But you can see it's going through and finding all the information. And then it's going to open up a Word doc document. It's trying to figure out what can it do to put this into a Word document to report of some sort. It found this thing called As Pose Words Editor. And it's going through and creating this document for me. And obviously, if I wanted to, I could take control at that point or go back to that point of the session, the operator session, and I could copy and paste this all into something else. But it's all right there for me. I can have this all developed together. You can see it's going through and talk about the key considerations based on what it's learned, the unique features of municipal AI policies, what's different about each one, because I wanted to know what was different about each AI policy. So it got stuck in some downloads. It was trying to download that for me, but the, the computer engine it's running on wasn't able to do that. But as you can tell, it was able to find all that information and able to put that together into a document for me. So that's the power of leveraging ChatGPT to write your prompts for you. And that's really what helped me unlock a greater capacity for operator. Now I'm only a couple days into using operator, so I'm sure I'm gonna learn a lot more over the, last, over the next month. So I'm doing this for 30 days, trying to figure out how Operator works, see if it's worth that $200 a month. But this is such a great way of using Operator. What other features are you learning? How are you using the Operator? I would love to hear below. What do you want me to do? Anything you want me to put into Operator that you want to see if it can do? Let me know in the comments below and I'll try that out. Until next time, be well.